we go. <laughs> so, uh, we bought a new couch. Yeah. Sitting on the new couch yesterday. It was on sale on one of the indoor yard sale groups on Facebook. <sighs> right before Dave was coming home, so... Yeah, we went and looked at it and bought it and brought it home and here we are. The other one was stained and broken and it's out in, out in the front yard. Hoping someone will steal it. Let me give you a better picture. So here's the couch. Yes, it has a detachable ottoman. We can switch over to the other side. It's kind of cool. Right. This is the old couch. Anybody wants one? Come and get it. It's free. There's a better picture from the side rock. I'm headed to the front runner station because I'm gonna go have dinner with Dave in Salt Lake. Plus, we need to stop at my Aunt Sally's house because she's not answering her phone. And as I'm walking here, I can see all the noise that the construction was making. Let me show you. This whole corner. It was very loud. The kittens did not like it. And it looks like they did the opposite corner as well and put some of the junk over there. Well, the door is open. I made it to Front Runner in South Jordan. And I noticed, I don't know if you can see, the moon's out already. Let me see. I don't know if I can get that. <gasps> there it is. Found it. made it. Here I am in South Jordan and just waiting for Dave to come pick me up. They're doing a bunch of construction here at the station so it's kind of awkward to get in and out. While I'm on the train I always try to do something productive and so today I worked on the survey I'm going to help with for the, oh gosh, the sun is in my eyes, for the Infertility Resource Center. We're going to do a survey to figure out how many Utahns actually do infertility or need infertility treatments. And then try to get the state legislator nature to pass laws that forces insurance companies to pay for diagnosis and treatment and etc. That will make our lives definitely easier. And I really don't want future people to have to deal with the crap that Dave and I and others have had to deal with. It makes, you know, if insurance would just pay for it, <clears throat> it would make our lives easier. But they're not right now, so we guess we have to force them to do it through legislation. It's unfortunate. Hopefully, the survey will help. And <clears throat> it'll work. I won't get it all paid for. <laughs>